Hi everybody, it's Saturday afternoon, I've just got back from grocery shopping. The boys have gone into Cambridge, I think Caleb's plan is to spend a bit of his Christmas money. He's desperate to spend it, you know how children are when they get a bit of money in their wallet, they really want to spend it. So he's gone up to Cambridge with his dad to see if he can find something he'd like to spend some of it on. And um, we do try and get him to eke it out a bit, so when he gets money for Christmas or for his birthday, we try to get him to save some of it towards something special, spend a little bit and then just save some for a rainy day or for something he's doing at another time, so he doesn't go and spend it all at once. Um, so that's where they are. I've just got back from a Tesco shop. I went to Tesco for the same reason this week that I went to Sainsbury last week. Um, I had a, an £8 off coupon that needed to be used by tomorrow for a £40 shop so that was worth me going to Tesco's for and I didn't need a lot this week so um, the combination of that meant I had a nice low cost um, grocery trip this week and I went by myself which always helps. Um, so I will um, spin you around, show you what we got and then at the end of the video I'll show you our meal plan for the next week. Okay so here's the sweep of everything I got. The total came to fifty three ninety five, but I did have a, an eight pound off money eight pounds off yeah eight pounds off a forty pound shop um, coupon which I used so that took it down to forty five ninety five which the first week after the big Christmas expensive time of year I'm really happy to have um, kept well under budget for our grocery shop this week and we've got plenty of food for the whole week. The only non-food item I bought was TV guide. I'm obsessed with TV guides, I always have been. When I was young my parents used to buy one, the big Christmas edition of like the Radio Times and I used to go through it with my highlighter pen or a pen and mark everything that I wanted to see over Christmas. I think because I have quite a planner and planning type of personality it helps me to know I don't have to think about much like I meal plan so I don't have to think about meals I TV plan so I don't have to think about what do I want to watch this evening if anything um, and also if I'm going to be out what is there anything I want to record so I just have it all highlighted um, and I can work my way through the week a bit obsessive I know but um, that's just me quirky um, crisp wise we've got Doritos are still on sale at half price in most of the stores um, Caleb's absolutely loving the fact that they are because he only gets them when they're reduced and so they were 90p I think a packet um, this week so I got him another packet of the cheese ones which are his favourites I got the variety just regular crisps so that's ready salted cheese and onion salt and vinegar and the hula hoops were reduced this week and we all like hula hoops in this house so I got the mixed pack of those as well Bread, I got our usual 50-50 loaf. I also got a pack of six white rolls, there for a specific dinner later in the week. Um, lunch boxes, the fruit shoots were on special offer this week, so I got a pack of four of those. He does still have some apple juice cartons in the fridge as well. Six eggs. Um, the chocolate chip slices, the Mr. Kipling cakes were all reduced as well this week. Um, so these are for a little lunchbox treat for him. And these are the individually wrapped ones. So they are perfect for lunchboxes. Um, tomato puree. A bottle of the garlic and herb dressing. Now, we cook a lot of American recipes, obviously. Um, and a lot of them call for ranch dressing. Um, and you can sometimes find it, especially during the summer at the larger supermarkets, but I find it's harder to find it during the winter. I do sometimes order it with my monthly Amazon order, but don't always remember to add it in. Um, and it, I haven't found it on subscribe and save, and I don't really want bottles and bottles of it anyway. So, um, and with a, a, a full-blooded American in the house, um, this is a good alternative substitute. So if you do have something, if you see an American recipe somewhere and it calls for ranch dressing, you could use a garlic and herb dressing and you'll be pretty close in flavour. Two cans of evaporated milk, one I need for something I'm making this week, but I do like to keep some of this in the cupboard for a number of reasons. Um, so a, a store cupboard one as well. For the mornings, Caleb has to take, or doesn't have to take, but he's, he's encouraged to take a snack to school. It has to be something somewhat healthy, so they can't take a chocolate bar or chocolate biscuit or something. Um, so there are a few things he takes, granola bars, he sometimes takes a piece of fruit, although he doesn't like eating, like, he'll eat a chopped up apple, but he doesn't like just eating an apple. Sometimes he'll take a banana or an orange or easy peel or something like that. But I got a couple of things to stock up his um, school snack box. One is the um, brunch bars because nothing can have peanuts in it or nuts of any kind, obviously because of allergies with children. Um, and this is a nut free one. 
and then the Whitworth shots, and he likes the berry and white chocolate one. So both of those meet the requirements for school. Um, a can of chopped tomatoes, a little bottle of Cajun seasoning, using Cajun seasoning this evening for our meal, and I also need it for later in the week, so I just needed to top up on that. A treat for Caleb for this weekend, his favorite um, pink frosted sprinkly donuts. Um, Again, he gets them as a treat now and again, but uh, he's been really good over Christmas. He's had a good couple of days back at school, so they're a treat for him for this weekend. Um, yogurts, haven't bought yogurts for a couple of weeks and I sort of missed having one, so I got just a pack. In Tesco at the moment, the Muller Light packs of six yogurts are half price, so they were £1.49, I think, for six yogurts, so I grabbed a pack of the fruity flavours of those. Some macaroni, some hot sauce. This is reduced in Tesco's this week to a pound. Tony loves this, sprinkled on just about everything. So whenever I see it on special offer, I do buy a bottle just to keep some in the cupboard. A green milk, um, a distilled vinegar. I use this a lot around the house for different cleaning projects. Um, it really is very versatile. If you Google white vinegar or put it into Pinterest or something, you'll find all kinds of uses for it. Things like cleaning the washing machine, um, cleaning the shower doors, that sort of thing. Um, and I went to use some yesterday and I was completely out. I only had the malt vinegar, which is not the same. <laughs> Don't want everything smelling like fish and chips. So I picked up another bottle of that. Um, a little Lunchables. Again, occasionally get one of these for Caleb's lunchbox. Um, usually he has a sandwich or picky bits, but um, I grabbed one of these this week for him as he's got three pat lunches this week. Um, a pot of double cream. Um, some cocktail sausages, those again for lunch boxes. Um, the Leodama, um sliced cheese. So this is a sort of like Swiss cheese. Americans again use a lot of Swiss cheese in sandwiches and it's the holy Swiss cheese. And this is the closest I can get to that here. So I've got that for something I'm making later this week. Um, a, similarly, the wafer thin roast chicken is for a meal this week. A pack of the grated regular everyday grated cheese a carton of apple juice and a smoked original smoked pork sausage for the freezer i got the cheese and garlic pizza bread didn't have any garlic bread in the frozen section and we don't need garlic bread until the end of the week so i didn't want to buy fresh um, and this is just a good substitute it's like a pizza but all it's got on it is cheese and garlic so that makes a good substitute to normal garlic bread for us um, Caleb's uh, ice cream cones for his puddings this week, white chocolate and raspberry for a change for him. Some chicken breast mini fillets. I did buy a bag of these from Sainsbury's last week. This is actually for dinner tonight. Um, and when I've defrosted them, there's definitely not enough in there for a main meal for all three of us. So I've had to pick up, and there were no mini fillets in the fresh meat section. So I've had to pick up another pack, but these can be cooked from frozen, so I'm not too worried about them. Um, a small bag of the straight cut chips, just to keep them in the freezer, to have on standby. I do usually make chips from scratch um, using my active fryer to keep them healthy. Um, but in a, in a pinch, I like to have a bag in the freezer. Some southern fried chicken steaks. So I'm making a mac and cheese um, dish later this week. Now I will just have the mac and cheese and some salad. Tony will want to have some meat with it. So I've got a pack of these. These were reduced um, and they're the four southern fried chicken steaks. So he'll have those with the mac and cheese on that night. I got two of the little packs of chicken breast portions. So they only had in our Tesco's this week, the big, huge, like six or eight chicken breast portions, or the packs of two. And I really wanted the one in between. So I just got two of the twos. Um, a pack of five fillets. Again, if you remember, if you saw last week's grocery haul, I bought some of these from Sainsbury's and they only had little packs of, it looked like four or five in each one. And so I bought three because we needed them for two meals. And when I went to cook the first meal, I needed to use two full packs of them to have enough meat for us. So um, the other pack I've got, the small pack, is still in the freezer. But I managed to get a bigger pack um, at Tesco this week, which I can use for the other thigh fillet meal, which is for tomorrow's dinner. Um, some streaky bacon. This is just getting chopped up and used in a meal so wasn't worried that it was the budget version of the streaky bacon. It will work perfectly for what I need. A pack of mints, some white potatoes, tomatoes. I've still got other salad stuff in the fridge. Some of the baby chestnut mushrooms, 
a pack of fresh chives and some plums and I know it's not really plum season and these are really small so I'm not sure how they'll be or how much they'll ripen but I'm getting a bit fed up of easy peelers and apples and so I just wanted something different for the fruit bowl this week so I'm going to give those a try. So that's all the groceries. So then coming on to our meal plan, um, this always makes Tony laugh, it, it, it's just called Monday pie. When I was growing up, we often had this on Mondays, we either had cold cuts like leftovers from the roast dinner the day before, or if there weren't any leftovers, we had this. And it's essentially mince, baked beans, gravy, some other vegetables and potatoes layered over the top. So if you tune into my meals of the week, you'll see more about Monday pie, but that's what we're having this week. The Caribbean macaroni bake, which is like macaroni cheese, but with some spicy seasonings in rather than just plain. Um, and that's where Tony will have the chicken with that. Wednesday is football practice. So I'm making chicken bacon ranch rolls and we'll have some chips on the side of that when we get home. I'm out on Thursday night for a retirement dinner for one of my team at work. So the boys will fend for themselves. Friday night, we're having Cajun chicken and sausage pasta with the garlic bread. Saturday will be spinach chicken casserole and I'll serve that with rice and then Sunday I'm going to do a chicken dinner but just in the slow cooker so that's next Sunday um, in the slow cooker which is you put everything for a chicken dinner so the chicken breast the gravy potatoes green beans carrots all that sort of thing together in the crock pot and you end up with a roast chicken dinner but slow roasted slow cooked so that's the plan for next week if you tune into my meals of the week videos You'll see the finished result for all of those um, and where I can I give you information about how they're prepared. Um, later on as the year progresses I'll try to do more recipe videos. We're just setting up some stuff with our technology to make that a bit easier. Um, but yes, I hope you all have a great week and we'll see you back on the Family Seesaw soon.